Jeopardy for the PlayStation 2. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. Let's play. Sony Pictures Studio. This is Jeopardy. Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. Only the very best players are invited to participate. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Let's do it. Want to see the categories? Well, here they are. Astronaut lingo. Mm. Tribes. Mm. Tool time. Eh? The world of science. Oh, good. Geographer's dictionary. The final category is All right. entertainment. <laughs> Player one, you get us going. Astronaut Lingo 200. It's the return of a spacecraft into the Earth's atmosphere. What is re-entry? Yes, indeed. Player two, what'll it be? Astronaut Lingo for 400. For a doctor, it means to prepare for an operation. For an astronaut, it means to cancel the operation. What is scrub? Right, pick again. Astronaut lingo for 600? It's the chamber between the outer hull and an inner door. It can be pressurized and depressurized. What is an airlock? Exactly. Player three, it's your turn. Entertainment for 200. LeVar Burton was a drama student when the role of Kunta Kinte in this miniseries made him a star overnight. Where's Roots? Exactly. Uh, active reporter, please. Over to you, player one. The play about this president who resigned opened and closed a few weeks before the Watergate break-in. Well done, yes. In this 1984 film, city boy Kevin Bacon moved to a small town that had outlawed dancing. Precisely. Pick again. A staff photographer for Look magazine, he went on to direct such films as 2001 and Dr. Strangelove. Yes. Uh, let's have our turn for a thousand, please. This title TV family lived in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Jefferson County, Virginia. For the Waltons. Well done, yes. Hey, you're still up, player one. Astronaut Lingo 800, please. An instrument filled unmanned spacecraft. Its name means to search into. 
What is a probe? Right. Player two, it's your turn. Tool time for 200. When it falls, you're fired. Uh, what's a hammer? No, and I am sorry. What is the axe? Right you are. Oh, that's right. If you would, player three. Geographer's Dictionary for 200? It's a narrow strip of land connecting two larger bodies of land. Panama, for example. What's a canal? Uh, or isthmus, maybe? What's an isthmus? Definitely. Uh, Jefferson's Extreme Port, please. Layer one. These administrative subdivisions of Louisiana correspond to counties in other states. Correct. Uh, let's have a uh, Geography's History 6 or please. From an old Norse word, it's a long, narrow, deep inlet of the sea. What is a fjord? Well done, yes. Hey, you're still up, player one. It's an old name for a Chinese seaport, or what the Swiss call their states. What is Canton? Correct. Pick again. As in Bahia de Cochinos, it's what the Spanish word Bahia means in English. What is a beach? No. What is... No, and I am sorry. What is bay? Yes. Should have thought of that. Your choice, player two. I'd like tribes for 200. The Havasupai have been living in a branch of this canyon seen here for over 600 years. Here's the clue. Correct. Player one, it's your turn. The Blackfeet lived in these structures and decorated them with paintings of real and mythical creatures. Uh, we're caves. Very good. You pick again. Uh, Travis is going to play. The Chinook religion was based around the annual run of this fish seen here. Watch this. Very good. You pick again. Their name, from a Sioux term for people of alien speech, is shared by the capital of Wyoming. Oh, Cheyenne. That's it. Cherokee history includes the trail of these. Or Correct. Pick again. Uh, so sorry, Porter, please. It's the musical tool heard here. See? Just listen, and we'll give you the clue. What is a saw? Right. Pick
Pick again. A sharp twist of your muscle that might make a monkey out of you is this tool. It's a wrench. Precisely. Pick again. Things on the up and up are on this tool. Honest. Uh, what is the level? Right. To go at something full force is to go at it with this tool and tongs. What's a hammer? Correct. Pick again. It pains us to tell you it's the limited period during which a craft can take off to accomplish its mission. What is the launch window? Well done, yes. It's your turn, player three. The world of science for 200. This liquid makes up about 20% of a bone's weight as opposed to about 60% of the weight of the entire body. Right you are. Player one, it's your turn. The Chinese did a bang-up job in discovering its formula as 75% saltpeter, 15% charcoal, and 10% sulfur. Precisely. Pick again. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. Glossolalia, non-meaningful speech, is also called speaking in these. What are tongues? Yes. <laughs> the tallest dog is the Irish variety of this hound. Definitely. And to wrap this board up, at standard pressure, it's the boiling point of water on the Fahrenheit scale in degrees. What is 212? That's it. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. Bravo, player one. You're all alone in first place. Let's move on to double jeopardy. There are two daily doubles for you on this board, so let's get started. Let's check out the categories for the double jeopardy round. Colleges and universities. Taxi. Televised history. Rhymes with cod. Inventors. And our last category. Rockin' and a rollin'. You start us off this time, player three. Colleges and universities for 400. In 1971, the Lyndon Johnson Library at this school became the first presidential library on a college campus. What is the University of Texas at Austin? Yes. Player one, it's your turn. The only university in this state is in the city named for Jacques Laramie. What is Nebraska? Good guess, but no. 
What is Wyoming? Exactly. Oh, okay. Player two, your turn. Rockin' and a rollin' for 400. Born in Norway, he coached the Fighting Irish. Who is Newt Rockney? Correct. Player one, what'll it be now? You might be ticked off if you catch this disease caused by the microorganism Rickettsia rickettsi. I'll say what it is, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. That's it. The stray cats revived this kind of rock in 1982. What is punk rock? No? Uh, hard rock maybe? Good. You pick again. The L.A. Thunderbirds could tell you two bruising teams on skates lap each other to score in this sport. What is roller derby? Right you are. Sew these at breakfast, but make sure they've been hulled and steamed. of this city is split into 13 branches. Three were formed from the Sorbonne. What is Paris? That's it. <laughs> this school's Gator Growl, a large student-run pep rally, takes place the night before homecoming. What is the University of Florida? Correct. Pick again. Tiger Woods was this California University's Male Freshman of the Year in 1995. What's UCLA? No, that's not right. Sorry. What is Stanford? That's right. If you would, player three. Inventors for 400. He found his assistant electrician, Tom Watson, in a store where he bought electrical supplies. Who is Thomas Edison? Regrettably, no. Anybody? Here's what we were looking for. Oh, Alexander Graham Bell. Taxi for 400. Licensed taxis in New York City 
are this color. It's yellow. Exactly. Uh, let's have taxi for dinner, please. Player one, your turn. You can do it to Mary or Columbia, as well as to a taxi. What's hail? Right, pick again. The sitcom taxi used cabs from this famous company, founded in 1922. What is checker? Yes. If you would, player three. Televised history for 400. Videotape of the destruction of the Challenger, one of these vehicles, aired repeatedly on January 28, 1986. What is a space shuttle? Correct. Player one, you choose. Little was found in 1986 when Geraldo Rivera opened a vault linked to this crime boss on live TV. Okay, here's the clue. Who's up on? Yes. The whole world was watching the protests at the 1968 Democratic Convention in this Illinois city. What is Chicago? Right. TV cameramen were just 20 feet away when the man seen here was shot by this man. Here's your clue. Take a look. We have strong circumstantial evidence linking the perpetrators of this later. Who is Ronald Reagan? That's right. Your choice, player two. I'll try rhymes with cod for 400. A stick used for punishment. Don't spare it. It's a rod. Yes. Player one, you choose. It's the past participle of shoe, and we're not horsing around. What is shod? Precisely. Pick again. To poke, perhaps with a cattle implement. No, that's not right. Sorry. What is prod? Well done, yes. It's your turn, player three. Inventors for 800. In 1919, this father of wireless telegraphy represented Italy at the Paris Peace Conference. Who's Marconi? Exactly. Player one, you choose. Built in 1831, his first mechanical reaper resembled a two-wheeled horse-drawn chariot. Who is Cyrus McCormick? You bet. It's your turn, player three. Taxi for 1,600. Contrary to its roving name, this type of cab isn't licensed to cruise the streets. What is a gypsy cab? That's right. Player two, your turn. Televised history for 2000. Answer, the Daily Double. Player two, your wager, please. Okay, here's the clue. ABC sportscaster Jim McKay won an Emmy for his coverage of the Olympic terrorism in this German city in 1972. What is Munich? Yeah. 
Right, pick again. Taxi for 2000. This slang word for a taxi or its driver is shortened from the name of a horse-drawn carriage. What is a hat? That's correct. Player one, what'll it be now? This Russian-American TV pioneer developed the Econoscope in 1923 and Kinescope in 1924. Who was Vladimir K. Zwarikin? Right you are. If you would, player three. Inventors for 2000. In 1895, these brothers invented the cinematograph, which combined a movie camera with a printer and a projector. For the Lumiere brothers. Right. Player one, it's your turn. A style once worn in Swing in London, or Peggy Lipton's squad. What's Bob? Yes. And finishing off this round. Perhaps from obsolete Dutch for shred, it's a young cod or haddock. What is a scrod? Right you are. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores, shall we? All right. Impressive lead, player one. $54,200 for me, $12,800 for player two, $11,000 for player three. So, yeah. But it's a runaway game, so it Now it's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. European Patron Saints. Go ahead, make your wager. I'll just do $800. Here is the Final Jeopardy answer. Legend says Saint Rule brought this saint's relics to the coast of Fife in 368 A.D. I'm going to say who is Saint Patrick. Let's see if you got the right question. Player three, your question was... Quite the gamble, player three, but Saint Andrew, it so was worth it, wasn't it? Good for you. I am going to drop to $53,400. That's okay. Your question, player two, was not correct. That'll cost you. Let's see how much. Oh, no. Player one, what was your question? I went for St. Patrick, but I got it wrong. Oh, no. How much did you wager? Just 800, so that's not too bad of a wager. Nice try. That was a nice try. And I'll see you all for that next segment right after this break. A super effort from all of our players. This was a terrific game. Yeah, it was. Congratulations to our winner who really racked up a tremendous score today. Player one. <laughs> Come back soon and play our game again. Bye.